in it for as long a period as this. Um, I don't know, it's just the same as any other European town, I find. There's not, there's not that much difference in any of them. I mean, there probably are great differences, but I just don't see them. But I don't really know anyone in Brussels, so I don't get taken out anywhere in Brussels. So if I go anywhere, it's just, it's generally with the people that I'm with, so. So how far are you into the, the mix of the next LP? Uh, we're on the very last song tonight. We'll finish it tonight. So is there a new release date? And yeah, it's April the something. The album's going to be called Kiss Me, Kiss Me, Kiss Me. And the first single will probably be Why Can't I Be You or Catch. I haven't decided yet. I don't know. 18 songs? Yeah. Double LP? Why double LP? Um, because out of the 25 songs, there's 18 songs which are better than 18 songs that I've heard since we started recording, so it would be stupid. We'd either end up releasing two single albums or one double. So it's, it's better, I think, to put them all together onto a double album. Um, the, the reason why double albums have got a real stigma attached to them, which I, I appreciate, is that most double albums in the past have been generally bad because people can't seem to write enough good material for a double album. But there are exceptions, and I think that what we've done is an exception. <laughs> what about the title? Is that because you're in need of affection? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Une interview ex really? You feel Scottish? Very Scottish. Um, not, not as much as some people do, I don't think. Uh, I don't have a kilt in the cupboard, you know. <laughs> uh, I didn't wear one at my wedding. Um, but, uh, yeah, there's, there's a track on the album, Elephants Walk in Morning Glory. That's very Scottish. I think that's me at my most Scottish. I wanted to write an instrumental about, uh, that tried to convey this kind of dignity that uh, some people, some Scottish people seem to have. Can't you just see the hell of it? Scottish. His accent's changed, actually, since... I haven't told him that. It's, it, it's really changed since I last spoke to him. It's, it's, got, it's got more rounded. He's not like that! All the time. Is that the same accent? Robert since uh, since the first days of the cure um, I've, I've known Robert since he was clean and healthy <laughs> long ago, long ago. <laughs> um, the first time the cure ever went into the studio to record three imaginary boys because the associates um, were signed to fiction at the same time um, we met Billy and Alan that night they just sort of, they fell into the studio and fell onto the mix desk <laughs> We're the associates. And um, they went on tour with us for about two years. We went on and off on tour. It was, it was good. I, the associates, I mean, everyone liked the associates at the time. But I hadn't heard um, K9's new stuff. I was just really surprised to, to run into him suddenly. I haven't seen him for about... staying in Brussels lots of time? I don't know. Maybe he likes a particular type of Belgian food. Maybe he's a chip fanatic or something. What do I like about it? Well, it's easy. It's manageable. You can get from uh, A to B very, very quickly and very, very cheaply. It's not like London, where it takes you three hours just to get across, across town and nothing ever gets done. My favourite uh, favorite word for London is sludge. Uh, sludge is uh, slush. It's what's left when uh, the snow is melting. You know, when you're all getting wet. That's what yeah, London's I like. I was in like Flint. Brussels. It's a strange place. Yeah, sweet as you can meet lots yeah, of strange people nice in even stranger cool. places. Sweet. Sweet. You can make, meet sweet. people like the hood. What does the hood do? 
big white house. I've asked him. He's a made man. Sandman was a song I never thought I'd write. I never thought I'd write a song about uh, a subject like child abuse. Um, normally, when someone uh, comes up to me and says, why don't you write a song about such and such, um, it's like water off a duck's back, um, because I can't walk on to just a subject out of the blue. I, I have to have a gut feeling first. But uh, again, when, Bo uh, when Belinda said, why don't you write a song about that? Tell and the only problem I could foresee was, uh, how do you write a catchy chorus about a subject like this? It's my face And you take your hand to me For the first time today I just wait for a night to come When you close the door on me I don't know what's right or wrong But I want back my dignity so then I had, a, I had a vague memory in my head about um, someone called the Sandman, who was the person who came and put sleep in your eyes. And uh, it struck me that uh, the only time when any of these children who'd been uh, physically or sexually abused could have any peace or, or dignity was when they were asleep. Just tell me where will the Sandman come And take me for his first and final friend when will the Sandman come to give me the sleep that never ends? Just leave me to the Sandman come. Before I came to Brussels, I thought that the only thing you bought on the street was hot waffles. Jean-Marc taught me differently. Jean-Marc du Kid Montana, bien sûr. Et pour terminer ce cargo, voilà.